Hi guys, let's do some algebra today and solve for the variable. So here we're doing five squared equals a, the variable is just the letter, right? Uh, so five squared equals a, so five times five is equal to 25, and so a is 25. Two squared equals s. Okay, so two times two equals four, so s equals four. Two to the c equals eight. Ah, this is different, right? Now the exponent is what we're looking for. So let's see how many times we have to multiply two by itself to get eight. So if we do two times two, we get four. If we do four times two, we get eight. So how many twos did we need to multiply by? We have to include that first one, don't forget. So two to the third equals eight. C equals three. Two to the Q equals four. All right, so two times two equals four. So how many twos were there? There were two twos. So Q is two. Two squared equals four. There are almost too many twos in this problem. So Q equals two. I squared equals 25. Hmm. What times itself equals 25? So five times five equals 25. So five squared equals 25. And actually you could also say negative five here, right? Because negative five times negative five is 25, but let's not confuse the program. Let's just go with five. Z to the first equals two. So Z will equal, Z to the first is just the same as Z, right? Because it's just Z by itself without another Z, right? Z to the second is Z times Z. That's why, you know, Z to the first, you always have to include that one Z. So Z to the first is Z, so this one's simple. This is just saying z equals two. Two to the third equals p. Okay, that's not so bad. Two times two times two, that's what two to the third is. And two times two is four, four times two is eight. So we have eight. Five to the third equals r, so we have five times five times five equals r. So we have 25 times 5. But 25 times 5, think of it this way. If this is a quarter and you have five quarters, well, four quarters is a dollar. And then you have an extra quarter, so you have a dollar 25. So you have 125 cents. So 5 to the third should be 125. Oh, great. We already did this one. Five to the third is 125. U to the third equals 27. So now we have to say, hmm, what do I have to multiply by itself? And, and one more time to get 27. Now, it's, it's always good to take a guess. Even if, you, if, even if you're wrong, it's really good to align your number sense with reality. So the more guesses you take, and the more right answers you get, the more those will converge. And in life, number sense is way more important than exact answers. So you want to look at this and be able to say, eh, I think it's around three, or I think it's around four, or I think it's around two. And then the more you do, the better you'll get. So let's just say, eh, we think it's around two. Well, if it were two, then we'd have two times two times two. Is that right? That's four times two is eight. So it's not two. Okay, how about three? It's three times three times three. So three times three is nine times three is 27. So three is right. So the next time we do this, we'll kind of just be more calibrated and we'll just say three, right? So we'll go ahead and write three for our answer. Three to the third, 
just to be clear, 3 to the third equals 27. So, 3. All right, let's do a, a level one or a level two here or there. Five to the fifth. Oh my gosh, that's a big number. Okay, so let's let's work it out. Hey, you know what's fun? We already know that five to the third is one twenty-five. So five to the fifth is just five to the third times five squared, right? Because it's five times five times five times five times five. We already did this work, so that's one twenty-five you remember. Okay, let's, so we just have to multiply by five two more times. So let's just stay with the money, right? You have a dollar twenty-five. You multiply it by five, right? That's five dollars plus another dollar twenty-five. So this whole thing will be six twenty-five. And let's do six twenty-five times five. Let's think of shortcuts to do six twenty-five times five. Okay, well, imagine you just have six dollars times five, that's $30. So we're doing it in cents. And then you have five times 20, you have an extra quarter five times, so that's another buck 25, right? So you should end up with 3125. Now, you know, you can always write these out and, and do them longhand, but I just wanted to maybe give you other ways of thinking about it. Um, yeah, so we've got four times four times four times four. Now, the way I think about this is I was a big, well, not a big gamer. I was kind of a gamer growing up, right? We had Nintendo 8-bit and 16-bit and 32-bit and 64-bit, right? So I know that Four times four times four is 64. And then you have 64 times four, right? We can write it out. Four times four is 16. And then six times four is 24 plus one is 25. So we end up with 256. All right, guys. Hopefully you had some fun with these exponents and keep working on them. This is just practice makes perfect. As soon as you get it, it won't feel so bad. But just, just do a bunch of practice and you'll get it. And I'll see you next time.